right, that's good. That's good. Let's jump into this. All right. So, welcome back. This is um, episode seven of the Be Warmed and Be Filled podcast. Got my guys, the brethren, the gang, Ace, West, Ghost, and myself, oh. West, West Land Up. I'm thinking about adding a dash between the names because I'm getting tired of every document saying my name's not a name. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go with y'all. How we doing? How we feeling? Chilling. Straight. Good. Dope. Nothing new. Dope, dope. Anything we want to get off our hearts? Anything we want to get off our chest before we jump into things? Man, this week on the past week actually wasn't that bad for me. You know what's kind? Of, you know what's kind of weird and new for me? Um, I've been um eating like breakfast, and I know that's like what 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 and what and God Green Earth are you saying that's weird? But like y'all, if you if you know me, for the longest time, like literally all my life, I can't I couldn't eat in the morning when I first wake up, like. Back in the day, like a previous job I worked at, I used to like, you know, get to work early and stuff. But by like lunchtime and everybody's eating like pizza and the salads or whatever, I was, that was when I was just getting my, uh, you know, my raisin bagel or whatever, cinnamon raisin bagel. So I don't know, I don't know what changed, but I'm, I've been eating breakfast. The only thing is, it's not like healthy or anything. Oh, quote unquote healthy. I'd be eating like toast riddles and waffles and eggs and patties with cocoa bread and crud like that but been a breakfast skipper one time in my life as well mm. yeah i skipped breakfast all last year but i've started again since i started working out really mm-hmm. damn what, 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 i wonder if that's it i wonder you might have just cracked the code <laughs> <laughs> just like that <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, I only started working out like, like February. Dang. Can you see this? Is why I like the podcast. But, um. <laughs> but, yeah. Um. I got a, I got a question. That's good. How was the Sunday dinner? Man, that Sunday dinner turned into Thursday uh, lunch. Interesting, but you do bring up a good point. I forgot to like take pictures and crud. Um, but I, I definitely went all out. It was mad stressful or stressful. We got to add the K. Um, I definitely made some jerk chicken, uh, rice, plantains, uh, macaroni. I wanted to just make macaroni, but I had to bake it because I just figured black people like baked. Uh, I made steak. I made, some veg- hey. I made some vegetables on the side. It was cool. On the uh, on the the macaroni, I didn't know so many black people were opposed to breadcrumbs on macaroni. Big. Really, I put breadcrumbs on mine, but really, I could I could. I yeah, like that's it. That's the best way to get it. I, I was raised on it. I could have forgotten. I could have. I could have did without it. Yeah, there's a little bit of controversy in the streets on the on the breadcrumbs. I had no clue. I saw. I, I, I whenever I think of baked macaroni or macaroni, I always think of this one clip around like a little Thanksgiving time. Somebody uh, posted a video of them getting spazzed on because they put uh, cream cheese in the macaroni. Oh, cream cheese! I, th- I, oh, I think no. I seen one about eggs. Yeah, that good. Eggs. Cream cheese. There's a. There's a, uh, there's a, there's a it, it's like when you making black, when you making a ma- macaroni for black people. You gotta follow the scripts, and if you go outside, yeah, that's such a... and if you go outside. It's gonna be a situation, but I guess maybe that's strange because bread, because bread comes is maybe like a debatable thing. Now. I don't know. Even if uh, even if it's good too, I think you you might still get <laughs> scolded. I've that's seen dope. cream of mushroom soup and macaroni. Hey yo, yeah, it's not the move. If it's good, 
I'm with you, but I'm gonna still uh, nah, I'm gonna still put look, it in the casserole. I'm gonna still, 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 still look at you a little with a side eye. <laughs> exactly. I'm in, I'm in the uh, if I have my mouth ready for something like it, 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 you know, it might be good, but that's not what I was always expecting. I feel like I, feel like I get that mentality from you. <laughs> I, I don't think I, I, was, I was on that before, but I definitely have the mindset of if somebody tells me one thing, I have an expectation, and it's, it's not what's in my mind. It might it might just I mean, I'm gonna still eat it, but right. Like, yeah. but. Especially if it's something you think is pretty basic, like you don't expect a, a, a you know a curveball on certain things. Oh, <laughs> oh, and uh. To cap it off, I also made like dessert. They were just like, mm, they were cookies, but they were kind of like cream filled cookies. They, those came out pretty good. I think I still have some. I don't know. But, um, it was cool. <sighs> um, anything else before we jump in? I forgot what we were even talking about. Oh, yeah, you asked me about the, the thing. Yeah, it was cool. All right, so let's just jump into it. Um, <clears throat> you know, last week we kind of took some time and just kind of spoke about, you know, a lot of the, uh, what I just do, labeled uh, or deemed black trauma and a lot of, you know, unfortunate incidents, incidents that's been going around, around the country, around the world, uh, for black people. And mainly at the, at the hands of, you know, police, but there was, you know, some incidents outside of that. Um, and it seems like we gotta go back a little because this country, man, I can't I can't forget the, the Dave Chappelle joke. It seems like it's not just applicable to mass shootings, obviously, you know, condolences to anyone that's been affected by that, but it seems like it kinda seemed like it's didn't this happen like last year? Or wasn't this a year where like there was just like an explode of of like yeah, because when all the riots were happening. Um, yeah. And it kinda seemed like they were kinda back to the, to the situation when like there's a whole bunch of you know nonsense going on in the world um but surrounding all this and this um this interesting headline came across the timeline and to be honest to be honest i don't even know if i had like a specific question but more so i wanted to just look at it because maybe i'm not even understanding it properly um and it's just uh reads um CDC uh, declares racism a threat that affects the health of our entire nation. So, they're saying like, <clears throat> the Center of Disease Control, by the way, why is the Center of Disease Control Progression talking about racism? It's officially joining the conversation about race and uh, equal equity. Last, last week, the, rele- the agency released a statement declaring racism a serious public health threat, uh, according to its official, their official site. Uh, so, I don't know. What what what, uh, what comes to mind when y'all think of this, when y'all see this headline? Um, I feel like when an organization, I mean, I don't know if people really respect the CDC, but when, they, when, they, when an organization like this comes out and says something, that means there should be some guidelines in place, right? So something about to change? Is that what's about to happen? Maybe they'll study it first. From this perspective. Hold on on that He's caption control. a little. You need to study <laughs> the last 400 plus years of uh, a whole bunch of bigotry and racism? They might not have a database properly yet. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I, I, I like looking at things uh, logically. But, um, I mean, I feel like I didn't really, I didn't see too much comments or back or like reaction to this, but I feel like the sentiment is still, especially from, you know, black and Hispanic people, like we've been saying this forever. <laughs> How, y'all just came to this conclusion. I think they're basing their statement off of you read in that caption it says 
communities of color have felt the force of COVID-19 most severely, given the disproportionate case counts and deaths, among other factors. So I'm kind of a weird, almost non sequitur, but I guess that's the conclusion that they're reaching based off of that data. So COVID is racist. (laughs) More so the (laughs) treatment surrounding it, but... I get, I get that. Or lack of treatment, but. but even, but even that, that's that shifts to the conversation of like the healthcare system is not necessarily favorable towards black people, which that's again, yeah, again, yeah, that's again right. something yeah. that's been stated through all throughout history. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this is like a positive thing. So it, it, we should be ha- we should be hyped about this, right? Hyped. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know my my language. Sorry. It says that there's uh, structural barriers that impact racial and ethnic groups differently. Uh. So I don't know what the CDC is gonna do in terms. I mean, I guess healthcare system disparities are issues. Biggest one that comes to mind is uh pregnancy mortality among Mm. black women which is uh and i mean in general the idea that uh doctors and medical professionals tend to discount uh black women's uh, experience of pain which is what they think leads leads to a lot of the issues weird issues that happen um but so that you know that's a problem obviously Uh, so there are yeah uh, there are systemic things that um could definitely be looked into from from that point of view um and i don't know if that's what they're getting at or not but maybe they should Uh, outside of that it does seem a little bit silly or like they're just making a statement to make a statement and you know gain Mm. support that's kind of that's kind of what i thought when i first saw the headline to be honest yeah from a community or from you know black people don't yeah, have CDC never had the greatest they don't need it now i don't think so i mean what's going to happen to the cdc i mean they're they're pushing i mean they, they have you know they have their initiatives to vaccinate to increase trust in the public health system oh, okay, okay so black people historically having a lack of trust because of historical factors in certain cases um they're probably trying to address that I think PR site. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I was about to say, based on what you said, again, I feel like we should be hyped because this could lead to some change. But I guess if that's what we're feeling, <laughs> publicity. Um, well, we we can, you bring you bring up a lot of good points, and we can have to go back to that one day. The, that whole conversation about like the treatment of black people and especially black women in hospitals because I, I heard that before and it, I, I very much believe it to be a real thing you know all praises you know I think it's safe to say our, our mothers had relatively decent experiences when it came to uh, all right oh. all right well, all right not getting offense that state, not getting offense to the statement but I will say I was gonna say I don't know how, I never know how to solve that problem because if it's just a straight mindset thing that a doctor could look at a person, a, a, a black woman and see uh, well, less than, or because the way they view them, it, they will treat them differently. How do you, don't you have to like get rid of those doctors and like reboot that system? I don't know. It's kind of similar, it's kind of similar to like the the, the police system. I think it's just yeah, a, except it's not fear. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's just, it's a stereotype, I guess, or an ingrained idea that black women are stronger or animalistic. Than, yeah, or yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. So I'm just three fifths. I know. They view. I know. You just the animals. Like you said. Um. I don't want to get into it too much right now, but that's... The doctors definitely aren't wearing body cams, so. Jesus Christ, man. I don't want to go Y'all, that far, like, it's a... No, I... Sabotage we, thing. We, that's not... 
<laughs> well, not, and again, it's not necessarily a sabotage thing. I think it just might be a, a mindset thing. And maybe if, yeah. it, maybe if there were some additional cameras in, in the in the um, in the procedure room, why did I say procedure? I'm blanking tonight. Maybe that would have some level of change. I don't know. And I mean, honestly, like they they do have like the pain scale that they did. You know, they made the pain scale so you could do a one to ten type thing. They could just start believing the numbers that they get, as opposed to saying, oh. Or you know, it might not be it might not be a numerical thing. Like maybe if they give a number that it does help, but or maybe if they just say I'm in a lot of pain, they don't they don't equate that to certain situations that they might equate it to another person. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how it works, but I, I do know that that is what they think is the source. Is that there's a disconnect between what black women are feeling black and what they're the way they're being treated for whatever they have. Y'all make it be set off the bat. <laughs> but it's all good. Um, I don't know. I feel like the moral story for me for this is um It's really the engineer in me that, that kinda makes me even a little bit interested in this. And hey, while I while the conspiracy theory is me believes it could just be some level of like y'all said PR stunt. Um I'm always interested in, in stuff like this and you know, keep an eye on it for if it does. Uh, lead to some level of change. I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be the optimistic one. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm interested to see what what comes out of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's quote unquote good news, but uh, like I like I mentioned, uh, <laughs> the the conversation about police brutality and excessive uh, force against black people. It, it don't seem like it's stopped anytime soon. And um, there was a clip that gained a little attention because it was quote unquote controversial. And I just want to, you know, play it real quick and see what we see what we see what our thoughts on, you know. Uh, so the headline is uh, CNN's Chris Cuomo uh, says police reform won't happen until white people's kids start getting killed. Uh, he didn't say with a T, but I say killed. Anyway, play it. And you know what the answer is? You really do. You don't like it. I don't like it. It scares me. Shootings, gun laws, access to weapons. Oh, you, I know when they'll change. Your kids start getting killed. White people's kids start getting killed. The white kid, oh, big family, that house over there. Those start piling up. What is going on with these police? <laughs> oh, what? Maybe we shouldn't even have police. That kind of mania, that kind of madness, that'll be you. And you know what the answer is? You really do. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely expressive. So like I said, um, there was a bit of, it was a bit of, I mean, the caption here says social media is divided <laughs> over passionate monologue. monologue. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some people looking at like, why do we have to even take it there to say, you know, there won't be change so white people get killed. Um, but then there's a lot of people, a lot of black people even saying, I mean, he's kind of, he's not telling a lie. Um, I, and you know, I like to... I try to look at both sides, not always, but I don't know. Do, do y'all think this is a bit, uh, ex 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 I don't want to keep saying excessive, but, um, you think it's a bit much? He's being, he's being an extremist. I, I don't think I can relate to that. I don't think necessarily for, um, to say that this is 100% how police reform is, or, you know, yeah, how police reform is going to happen, but more to just highlight highlight the issue and maybe bring more um yeah like bring more light to it but i mean if you compare it to the opiate crisis to oh my god yo y'all are betting a hundred tonight man that's a hell of a comparison man so he's right that's the moral of the story we could wrap it up that's the moral he's right 
<laughs> He's right as the sun is bright. My goodness, man. That's that's a shame. And to be honest, like <laughs> I don't know if this is weird to say, but if people, because I, I mean, there it's not like there haven't been instances where white people get killed by the police. Very much so. Um, technically, sorry, good job. So technically. Just due, just due to the numbers, but white people do experience more incidents with the police. Right. By raw numbers. Or yeah. Whatever. Uh, not by population. Right. Or percentage or whatever. Right. Um, however, if, I mean, not, not to, not to like weaponize or, or game the system, but if, if black people wanted to increase the chances of getting reform, they could boost these these videos or, or if any if there's any content or whatever or white people it could be it could be boosted because I, I remember there was a boosted there was one, you mean as in like shared more and, oh get people looking at it more. admittedly whenever i see a, a white person interacting with the police it's usually one they kind of seem like they're deserving it and two they feel like they're above the law. But Which th is fair. That's but just, that's, gotta be. That's what I see. I'm not saying that's the... the yeah. I'm not saying that's all white people. There was one video of a kid who was in a, a hotel. This was years old. It was like in a hotel or something. And I I guess he was, he was, he was drunk or something or high or something. And he was accused of shooting maybe a BB gun out the window or something dumb. Something really dumb and, you know, something dangerous to the public. But when the cop went in there, he went in there and had him on the ground. Like, so he was like, you know, crawl toward me or whatever. He, the guy was crawling. Yep. And then he like lifted a hand or something and he popped off like, I don't remember how many shots. But it was, it, it was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. Aww. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, there's there's got to be cases and situations. Yeah, Ugh, man. <laughs> Real quick, because you brought up a hell of a good point, Ace. But I mean, again, trying to be kind of looking at both sides. Do we really think that uh, the opioid crisis is as big as it is? Because uh, in I don't know if it's mainly, but it largely impacts white communities. If it was, if it was just really, literally like the crack epidemic, uh, part two, and it was and it was mainly affecting black people. We we we, we think. I mean, uh, spoiler. I I think it wouldn't. But we really think it wouldn't be as big of a thing. Correct. Hundred percent correct. Damn. That's that is so unfortunate. I mean, I, I'm saying that as a person that's probably one of the most pessimistic about when it comes to change when it comes to black people not black people but when it changes like i feel like the conditions of black people are not necessarily gonna get better um but dang that's unfortunate to hear um yeah like that's really that's really the bottom line i don't want to say salute to them because it is still kind of a wild thing to say even though i do like extremist uh comments but he's uh he's, he's right he's not telling a lot and uh, I, I believe this was like directly, um, you know, in relation to the what happened to that, to that brother, uh, Dante Wright. So, you know, again, rest in power to that, that, that brother. Um, and while I don't necessarily have an update about what's going on with that, I think the last thing I might have said on the last, the last podcast, the, the woman, the cop that killed him is out on bail. Um, so black people aren't too happy about that. But I mean, that's the system, so I'm not going to pry into that too much. Um, but it seems, you know, life don't stop. It seems like we're back, like we're back here again with the story about a young black person getting killed at the end of the police. Um, and this time it seems like there's some level of, uh, controversy. Uh, hope that one case. Alright, let me look at it first. So, as you, as we all may or may not have heard, um, you know, a young sister was killed by the hands of police. 
Um, I don't want to say her name wrong. And I, Micaiah. Oh, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, and uh, the the link that I posted is a uh, kind of a. I'm, to be honest, this is so much late. There's so much levels to this, and I don't necessarily want to stay too much on any particular point of it. But you know, the story is that you know this young sister was having an altercation with another young girl, and she was, you know, brandishing. Is that what they say? Brandishing a weapon, a knife, and you know, upon ar upon arrival, you know, the police uh, was trying to deal with the situation, and the end result was. The young sister got killed. Um, so you know, there's been a lot of reactions from social media, and again, the particular link that kind of got my brain going is so LeBron, so LeBron, um, he post he posted a tweet that just says "You're next," and it has the officer in question that was responsible for killing the young sister. Um, but because it's such a layered, uh, you know, situation. Um, he ended up deleting that post. And what do you say afterwards? Man, so LeBron tweeted, "I'm so damn tired. I'm so damn tired of seeing black people killed by police." I took the tweet down because. It's being used to create more hate. This isn't about one officer. It's about the entire system and always, and they always use our words to create more racism. I am so desperate for more accountability. And he also said, anger does, does, uh, anger does any of us. I hope to say does not, but it is a typo. Thank you. Does not, does us. <laughs> I'm going to say it Does all. not do any of us. I'm going to start, any I'm gonna start reading today. these tweets uh, the way I see them, by the way. Uh, including myself gathering all the facts and educating does though my anger is still here for what happened to that little girl my sympathy is for her family and may justice prevail so you know um it's not necessarily it's not necessarily a walk back but you know you kind of i can kind of understand this point of like i don't like the, i don't like divisive uh things you know things that just create unnecessary division so I don't know. I'm not saying he should have deleted it, but I can understand why he did. Um, and then the follow. Well, I guess before we even continue, uh, do y'all have any thoughts on the information so far? <laughs> or am, am I uh, missing any context that should that should be included? Not that I know of. Words. Thank you. I was, you know, sometimes you have to do a, a, a sanity check. So from this. OJ jumped in the conversation, um, and he had some words for LeBron. Uh, let's hear it. It was truly tough morning listening to all the criticism that LeBron Le uh, James is getting. Um, I'm a fan of LeBron. I admire the work that he's done, how he's helped his community, and how he's helped his friends, uh, and how he's been fighting all of these social issues, especially that of systemic racism in the legal system. And, with the police departments around our country. But you can't fight every battle, you know? You can't, uh, you gotta pick your battles. I mean, it's a war that must be fought, but sometimes you need to take your time and be a little more patient before you comment on some of these um, uh, bad incidences that are happening with police departments. Uh, this one, uh, LeBron should have waited. Uh, I'm a little upset with most of the media because they showed us edited versions of what took place with the girl with the knife. They made it sound as if this was another police Hey, Twitter world is me. So that's what OJ had to, you know, chime in with. I think you might have said more, but I mean, that's the Yeah, it was the next clip. I'll keep going. Oh, no. Nice. I, guess I, don't, really wanna, I don't really want to hear what else you have to say. Now we get to... Boozy Badass jumped into the conversation. This is it's just so weird what we live in right now. And I hope this is the edited version because Boozy likes to likes to go off or play that. OJ Simpson. How the hell are you gonna tell LeBron 
be quiet about speaking up for our race. You supposed to be speaking up for our race. Yeah, I was cheering for you. We got you free. A black man got you free. The black community got you free. And you won't tell them chill out? You need to chill out. You better chill out. Get the off LeBron nuts. You better chill out. You wrong, man. You supposed to be the the fr the forefront on. You supposed to be on the front line for this black. Chill. Yeah. I guess I should probably get more used to stuff like this. I mean, it is 2021, and also we have a podcast, so you know it's, it's good that there's a discussion going on. But anyway, there's obviously not nothing to do. With question regard, regarding all that back and forth um what do y'all make of this entire thing it's, we were having a little post discussion it seemed like it is some level of uh not controversy uh maybe a slight disagreement even between ourselves so um yeah what do y'all make of the, the, the situation going through this uh lebron oj boozy thing here <laughs> oh my gosh um I, I think, think OJ's comments I mean everything he said was correct um I didn't watch the media coverage or anything like that but if they were splicing it together to make it look like um make this shooting look like you know the others uh where they were not justified um that's in any, at any in any in any capacity then that's the that's, i think his comments are correct that's the valid that's the valid sentiment um i think that's where it kind of stops though i don't know if he's yeah, yeah, correct because everything he's saying yeah I, I i mean to boozy's point he is i think he's highlighting the hypocrisy in it which is Again, 100% fine. Uh, so, basically, like if this if these comments came from anybody else but OJ, <laughs> then it would. <laughs> I don't think Boozy would have had a point. But <laughs> again, but uh, yeah. and I, and I literally say we. I don't necessarily want to have the conversation, but I guess one day we we have to have the OJ conversation because I, I really just don't understand the, the fascination with OJ and why black people he actually rallied around him so much. He, he made a good point when he said that a black man got you free. His lawyer is black. For John, is that I mean, John, was that John Cochran? Yeah, yeah. Forgot about that aspect man. of it. Like, yeah, it was. That's why. I mean, it was a. A lot of black people considered it a win in that way. Yeah, and if the yeah. glove don't fit, you must have quit or something like that. So, oh my God. Um. Yeah, I mean, I I, I get it too. I don't, but then he kind of says like the black community got him free, and, and that's where I kind of, I don't know, I I wasn't conscious in in that in, in life around that time, so I, I don't think know. That's, I think that's true as well. If it is, yeah. that's true. That's whatever. I don't necessarily look to OJ in 2021 as he owes black people anything. So we we also. Oh man. I don't like where this is going. So, um, you know, what was along the lines of, you know, more black trauma, but I guess in this scenario, it's kind of an uplifting thing for, for black folk. Um, the, uh, sent the conviction of the cop that killed George Floyd came out. I keep, I keep forgetting how you say his name. And I, I'm kind of getting naggy, so I don't really care about his name right now. But, um, so yeah, there was definitely a lot of people that were, you know, uh, so celebratory about this, you know, a lot of people were, you know, posting things along the line of, you know, justice was served, accountability, things of that nature, even like some corporations were saying like this sentence, this uh, conviction is a sign of change or things of that nature. And, uh, well, I don't, I try, you know, I try to be positive. I 
don't truly understand the the point of celebrating on so many levels, on different levels, on the main level of being, I don't know in any scenario where I would be celebrating something that quote unquote should happen, even if there's been instances in the past where it doesn't happen, if, if you do the crime, then you pay the time. I don't, I don't really look at it as a reason to celebrate. Um, but that's fine. That's, that's, that's cool if other people do. Um, it, it, it also kind of just hurts my heart about like, you know, that, that clip is going around where I, I don't, I don't recall if it's his daughter or if it's, um, you know, just a, a young, a young girl that's, I think it must be his daughter just, and she's like, you know, you change the world. Um, that also hurts my heart because, you know, and a lot of people have kind of spoke to this, um, this side of things were like, you know, <laughs> somebody shouldn't have to unwillingly die to be like a martyr. Like that's, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really get that sentiment either. Um, yeah, and it's just, the dude was just convicted, he wasn't sentenced, so what would be a proper sentencing to, to, to match what the offense was? And again, there's numerous things, but then the other thing that comes to my mind is, of course, do, do you think this will actually create any level of change? And if in the same week a, a young girl could be killed, I... It, it don't it don't show me any signs but you, if you don't think that's one that's uh, a similar situation then maybe that's not even a, a point of um, worth bringing up but I guess yeah I, I mean I kind of just kind of ramble so I guess now I want to ask like um, am I am I vlogging do y'all understand the, the joy and celebration Yes, the answer is yes to that question. Um, I mean, I think, I think last week we literally, you may have said something to the effect of "Don't be surprised if 1000%. you know he doesn't get convicted." One thousand percent. So, so to me, the fact that he got convicted was something that was viewed as a positive, just on its own. And something that people didn't think, I didn't think would happen. I think a lot of people probably didn't think would happen. So the family actually see, viewing this as getting justice. Um, I mean, that's not, that's not um, insignificant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not insignificant, not only for the family, but for anybody who was following this and you know was um doubtful that justice was no one said no one said it's insignificant but it being significant i don't think equates to or something we're celebrating yeah or something we're celebrating i would say i don't i don't see how that's one i don't see how those go hand in hand um, i think maybe the, they I, don't but i i don't um it, it, in the same okay. way that i say it's not insignificant i say it's it's not it's um it's not surprising to me that somebody would celebrate so you said that um when something happens that should have happened uh you don't think that's a big deal or is special but i don't think that's fair to say um because like slavery should have never something happened in, in particular like particularly in this vein and i don't I mean, like, I, there's a lot I, of things I, that I are so, systematically I sooner, wrong. I sooner understand. Uh, let me let me let me watch what I'm not about, to, about to say. Give a Kanye moment. Um, <laughs> uh, go go ahead. Keep going. No, no. I mean, I just want. I want to say, like, there are a lot of things that are systematically wrong, and when they do the thing right. I mean, uh, maybe we're maybe it's the definition of celebrating, but I think there is a significance which should be acknowledged. Like, if people are happy that 
things are going as they should as opposed to them going the wrong way which is they've been done historically then i don't i don't question that um yeah i, I just i don't question or make like some people are like making people feel like oh you're weird for this which is weird to me i i don't that, and that's fair that's fine i'm not looking i'm not just looking at like uh you're wrong for doing it i just if this is as more so if this is stuff we celebrate i we it i think it speaks to where it speaks to just how down bad we are to be honest with you um and i think it's safe to say we again even though i have some negative views on it i think we all want change to come from this so if a change does come from this then that would be extremely beneficial yeah that's good i like that uh and forever rest in power to joy floyd all right what's next so uh chica uh a young a female artist um I don't know if y'all recall, but she, she was on the um, 20, 2020 uh, freshman double XL list, and I think we all agreed that her her cipher, um, her freestyle or whatever you call it, it was pretty dope. It was her cipher, her cipher, her freestyle. I didn't like that. Much. All, all right, we this is once you know the topic, we, we I mean you should have the anyway. So we all agreed that uh, it was dope and that. Just for all intents and purposes, she's super talented. She can, she could be super talented. I'm not sure if you know anyone was actually, you know, invested in her music, but that's that's irrelevant to the conversation at hand. Um, so recently, you know, she uh, posted about um, she just posted on retiring. <laughs> I was gonna say I posted about retiring, but it wasn't even like one of those uh, cryptic messages that some artists put out, like. <laughs> This is my last year and my last, you know, some artists go really cryptic with it, but this, you know, she came out and said, I'm retiring. And when I saw this, I didn't actually see the, the uh, reception to it, but obviously they, obviously she did. So, um, you know, <laughs> with completely different perspectives on things, but uh, to say the least, it seems like it was over, it was, there was a lot of negativity that stemmed from it and um well, i'm not going to include them in the part in the podcast i did it might be worth uh playing uh some of the video responses um that she posted following um for now that she retired I don't give a fuck about any one of you stands being suicidal. In fact, I hope you all are. Because guess what? I am too, and have been. And it has very little to do with you guys, because nothing you do matters. Let me repeat that. Nothing you do matters. You're nobody. The only thing you do is dogpile on top of people's other mental problems and make them worse. I came on here today and said I'm retiring, because that's where I'm at. Physically, mentally, and emotionally. And you stupid bitches flooded my comments immediately. Not knowing what the fuck I'm going through, but you want me to give a good goddamn about you and your stupid ass fifth grade stand friends? No, you can kill yourself too. Let's do it together. Let's make a suicide pact, you dumb fucks. Wow. Man, oh man. Man, this this reminds me of uh, I don't know, I think it was on the podcast, but we were trying to talking about like, I think it was me and you, guys, so, you know, I don't really like to play around with the you know, putting that even that energy out there, like death on myself. Um, but to give some context, again, I'm probably not gonna include the, the videos. Um, you know, you know, she's holding back tears and being very expressive about the fact that uh, because of the negative. Risk, reception that she received from posting that I'm retiring, um, they're not necessarily feeling very alive at the moment. And, you know, they're going through, a, they're going through quite a bit. Uh, and, you know, 
And maybe it's just, you know, the the fact that it's coming from a black woman. Maybe it's the fact that it's coming from a creative. But this kind of, this definitely kind of, you know, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like seeing this. Um, kind of, you know, kind of makes my black heart, um, even colder. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't necessarily want to, you know, I don't like to focus too much on talking about a specific person when we talk, when we have these topics, but I don't know, it's unavoidable, it's, it's completely avoidable in this scenario. Although I, I, I kind of still do have the general question of like, um, what, what if anything do y'all say to somebody that's feeling like they don't, they no longer want to pursue, um, I will keep, we'll keep it in creative, creative space, you know, an art or something like that due to mental health issues and just in general advice you gotta you give somebody like this so this kind of she gotta do uh, i'm not gonna say that she continue with the art oh okay okay you were just talking about the art aspects not just not the entire thing that she was saying that she's potentially wanting to do no i'm talking about as in getting that would have that would have been the literal definition of be warmed and be filled. I don't got nothing for you. Uh, golly. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to clear, clarify that. So, uh, so do what you got to do. Yeah. Just, I, just I, like I, that. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Like your mental health is way more important than whatever. Um, you know the artistic endeavors you're trying to pursue. I mean, granted, if it, if it those don't. make you feel good, then. If th if those are helping you, then that's fine. But if it's not, then stop. Like I don't just stop <laughs> and and get the help you need. It's it's not even a question for me. It, admittedly, because you're, you're right in a lot of points. And admittedly, I think it might be hard to look at this if you're not an artist. But I'm trying to look at it from that perspective. And I feel it's not necessarily the art, the the the, the part of being an artist. I think it's and also there's not that much context to it. But I could easily imagine it more so being the industry of things, um, and I and I know you, you you mean just you know remove yourself from the industry, but is I don't know. I feel like I would, I would also want to include some level of advice regarding the the, the being an artist itself. Wouldn't you say? I mean, it's not like her. It's not like saying this is a commitment. Like you're quitting your job. You can everyone. Every rapper says they're gonna retire and they can come back whenever they want essentially and no one's really gonna say nothing because they're putting out new music so if someone wants to well somebody still says doesn't something. says they want to retire we started this whole thing okay well people haters gonna say what they're gonna say but when it comes down to it you're still gonna be making money if you're putting out good music regardless of you would if you retired before or not so if someone is in the mindset where they want to get out of it and don't want to make music anymore and they say they're going to retire for good even if it doesn't end up being for good then there's no problem with me for me saying that because it doesn't necessarily have to be permanent yeah, yeah and i think fair. like i, I think from, from what, what i'm seeing cool. here the whole just starting off from the first the, the tweet of i'm retiring if, if that's, that's the only thing she tweeted out and there was no context to it as far as like why she said it and if she was even being literal then i could i could definitely see it being misread as like you know just as far as anybody who who reads it um trying to you know clown her and say oh everybody says they're retiring whatever um you know I, like i'm not surprised that that would be the reaction if that was the only thing she tweeted because uh, because of the lack of context um and her her response um I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I kind of see. It just seems like there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of misunderstanding with with the whole situation. Um, uh, I I, I don't want to say it's her, it's on her, but I think even from her perspective as as well as from the fans' perspective, if again, if that's the only thing she tweeted, if there was no context before it, 
which, which it does, does seem like like she, she was just saying you know she just sometimes she tweets stuff she would tweet stuff out just to you know get it off her chest maybe she said no, I'm retiring. Hard. yeah and that could have been another thing so i think it is it, it, a, a, a lot, lot of this, this seems to come down to miscommunication although i <laughs> the more i see like these different types of dog pilings happening to people for innocuous tweets and the uh, ramifications that come with it people getting canceled and stuff it kind of makes me more uh uh skeptical i would say of twitter as a useful platform social media anyway is the devil it can be it can be the devil I was thinking. Yeah, that, I was thinking that a really good line from that line that's itself not good, but uh, Big Chris said, "I'm like the I love social network for music, but the negativity can make you break down." Yeah, man. No, but you, you're right in a lot of sense. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I I I very much agree with her in the sense that like social media should just be, should be a platform where you can just. Just say what you want. <laughs> Obviously, you gotta go go with the speed limit. You can't just say anything. But you know, you should be able to. That's what I. But other people are gonna do the same thing. Like I, the people who respond to what she says, they're saying what they want to say. So you you should be able to say what you want in regards to you. I mean, you not in regards to other people, especially responding to and literally responding to somebody. You know that's not how it's built, though. You're put, you're tweeting out into the universe, that's true. and this is an echo chamber where the shortest, most concise, most hard hitting tweet is what you're trying to do. I like I mean, what most people are trying to do. Yeah. It's my so whatever thing. whatever gets that goal, yeah, and whatever gets that across is what people are going to do. It's like an echo chamber for for. I mean, Definitely for negativity. Yes, um, we know, we know. But it's it's <laughs> why though. Oh, All right. Yeah, so, go, go ahead, Wes. From an artistic standpoint, did bring it up. Um, retiring from music is a little weird to me. However. I think the relationship a person has, and she didn't mention this, and I don't get that idea, but a re- relationship a person has to their art can be uh, can be a lot in of itself, in and of itself. But you don't, but, so, you, but you don't think it can just be the art. Like I've, I don't think in the history of history, no, no, I history, don't, I don't get if artists are just because they can't make the art. Well, maybe they uh, no, they're, been, they're yeah, I was gonna say because the the battle, it. yeah, the battle. And in, in, I'm I'm saying on an internal level, not even external, not even the industry, not even anything, mm-hmm. but just like making the thing you want to make and being satisfied with it and all that, and then feeling like you're either sorry, um, feeling like you're either not capable or maybe like you know the imposter syndrome, all that like. Yeah. All that is a struggle in and of itself. Like I said, I don't, I don't get the impression that that's what she's dealing with. Um, but that's one thing to consider in the first place. But I think, so I, I say that I think retiring from art is weird in the sense that depending on the relationship you have with art, um, it, I don't know, it just, it just drawing the line in the sand is like, like that is kind of weird. But at the same time, I understand it from that perspective. And then, but I also think that everybody should be free to do whatever they want. If they want to make art, if they stop making art. If they want to stop releasing art. That's all up to them. And I don't think that the the fans really have a say in that. And at all, like if that's the decision, that's the decision we we as fans or you know people as fans deal with it. Um, let's stop being dumb. Um, Thank you. Uh, yeah, and then, um, uh, and then it also seems like she was addressing a, uh, a problem with social media in general, social media and fame. And I think that, um, from what I heard, her biggest problem sounds like dealing with 
the fame and recognition and well not recognition but the idea that everything that she says is going to be scrutinized by random people yep um and so to that but yeah I, I know say, i know you're going with this do you because i'm not a i i have, I have another <laughs> or i i, I was hoping point, somebody this, would get to this point because no nah, so i don't know so i don't, so I don't, I don't, I don't, so I don't have to say, say what you think Nah, you might have to still say it i was just gonna say that um that whole maybe i do know but yeah the whole fame thing like i think um i think you know there's people who handle it in a certain way and if you can't handle it and they want to get away from it and i think i think i've always thought that social media is a poor journal poor diary like Ooh, I, I don't i don't i like this hot take we know yeah i don't i don't necessarily believe that um because I, I think i think journaling or writing in a diary a real one a private one can be um can have its uh therapeutic value or you know have its purpose but i think that and i think that social media is enticing as a journal but i don't think it's the best function because of how visible it is to i think we had, we had a everyone. conversation before yeah we did we did in, in, in one form but yeah, because I think yeah, it's too wrapped up in in other people who you may or may not want to hear from. Um, and so I think that that's something to be aware of. And I think like not to not to, sh you know, fault her or whatever, but I think that her idea that she could or should be using social media in that way seems to be detrimental to hers probably not advisable you kind of um, you're kind of not wrong because i was gonna say uh, while i agree you should be conscious of the fact that it can be i don't think that should that should be reason to be if to be a preventative thing um i i i feel like everyone would agree that their social media account is theirs and it is likened to a journal uh, yeah, and you know, I should have the ability to post something. Anything, yeah, anything. Minus the fact that nobody looks at your general but you. <laughs> no, not even, not even, because you can look at it. Okay, so this, this is what I was thinking when you were talking these. So there has to be some level of like a right or wrong thing here, because none of us would look at her their posts. And say anything negative. None of us here. I'm retiring. Yeah, or anything, or anything. But yeah, that specific post. That specific post, I don't think that's 100 percent true. You would say if something. We didn't have the con if we didn't have the context. Um, then I would have looked at it in the same way as probably everybody else. You would say like, you would respond with something negative. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> That's that's, that's a weird, weird question because I'm not I'm not gonna respond to it at all. But why not? Um, but no, if we were talking about it, if we were talking about it, I don't know. Just say that you know we were on you know we were on Discord just chatting and it came up. I would have probably said something similar well, to we our Discord conversations. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would probably say something similar to like I don't know. Um, I mean. I, I res, I respected her more as an artist. Um, just, again, because of the the uh, the cipher, so I wouldn't have necessarily thought of it in the same way. But if it was if it was one of the, the dudes that I didn't like at all, and they said I'm retiring, and maybe they had the same exact you know the, everything going through their head as she as she does, I could definitely see myself. Uh, clowning them a little bit and saying, oh, you, who, "Who cares? Like you're, you just came out. You know, uh, you, your music wasn't good. Uh, you're retiring. Uh, uh, everybody says they're retiring. Like all, all the, all the. Um, I mean, yeah, and I think that would be considered a negative, a negative take. I see what so, you're saying. It, it doesn't change the fact that that would have been a." Not a private, but it wouldn't have been directed at her. I think that's the thing. I think that's there's a, there's a, there's a difference there. 
So, so you're saying that, these these takes shouldn't be directed at the person? I think that's. I think yes. I think that's. What but you, you got to reply. I mean, what are you just supposed to? Um, I don't know. Copy the tweet. Uh, let's see, I don't know how Twitter works. <laughs> can you can you do that with? Oh, you can you do it without just adding. Post them, your right? own tweet without adding. Exactly. I th- and I think that's where I'm kind of where I'm where I'm at. If I post something, you can like. I don't want to say sub me uh, or sub tweet. You can have an opinion on it. You can speak on it. You can tweet your own opinion on it. Don't come to me with it. I think. I don't think that's what she. Would. I think even if that was the case, she wouldn't be saying. I mean, she would still be saying the same thing. People search their name like I. I think. I don't think that is true. I don't. We know the KD special. I don't like the idea. <laughs> I don't really like the idea of uh, of creating creating rules because there's already Twitter guys. Well, no, we need rules. We uh, we clearly need rules. Nah, we, no, 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 no. We, we hell need rules. The medium, the medium is the medium. I don't, I don't really. I'm not really. Yeah, but if the medium that. promotes, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say promotes, but allows for and um, makes a negative uh action um like prominent or or common then changing the rules around how the medium operates that makes sense to me you can't change it's, people though it's yeah it, exactly it's you people's thoughts are being projected out like if if it's not right. twitter it's going to be instagram it's not insta well, I'm, I'm not, uh, that's not necessarily on, true that's not yeah, necessarily yeah. true because if, if you don't get that same negativity on instagram then why is that it might exactly. be the way that the medium operates the medium is the medium i think the the fact is that people need to it's a discretionary thing on behalf of each user that's why I said Twitter's not a good diary. Like, I don't believe that people should have the expectation. So what do you, what changes? What do you change to your, your individual yeah, he's putting, has to he's police putting more themselves? He's putting more onus oh. on the, on the, on the on yeah. The Which your expectations of the medium have to be different. So to to go and I, to, oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I do think that each I don't I don't necessarily think that it's one medium or the other because different mediums have different weaknesses and different strengths and like if you think about like a Facebook <laughs> like nobody I mean you know people disparage Facebook all the time for multiple reasons and the content you get there is of a different nature and the, the interactions there are of a different nature than they are of Twitter than they are of Instagram and so I think that you have to, as a user, you have to be smarter about how you use the medium. And that's not to blame her, but you just, it sounds like, you know, the issue of social media slash fame is one of her big issues that she's trying to work on. So, yeah, you know what's interesting about this? I, not even I feel. I think it's actually kind of safe to say we all are kind of bringing up the very valid points. Like, yes, people should have some level of consciousness about what they post. Yes, we should also acknowledge the fact that, uh, I'm not sure this before, and I think she kind of mentioned it, uh, people like, for some reason, lose their humanity on, on social media and on the internet. Um, and I think all these things can like culminate, come together, uh, and, you know, create an instance like that. Um, and I, I can't help think that the only thing we haven't mentioned is when do we also look into the aspect of if social media is going to social media, but you still want to use social media as you want to use it. Why? I mean, not why I can't, but. At some point, are we going to have to ignore it? Block out the negativity? Um, yeah. And, like, we know, we know for a fact that black Twitter is joke. <laughs> all the way down. No well, matter what happens. Um, uh, we don't know if black Twitter caused that reaction. 
We don't know. Uh, okay, but I'm just I'm just saying. No, we're not, we're not gonna be blaming black. Yeah, I know. As an example, like no matter what happens almost you're gonna find some foolishness in there. when world war <laughs> when world war three is about to pop off exactly they were shucking and jiving yeah it was bad memes like so i mean if like for the, that for example you have to know what you're dealing with you have to know how people are on the medium and you know there's there's you know there's positive interaction in that people laughing people having a good time and so if you misinterpret some of that or if you expect something that is not realistic of what has historically happened on the medium then you're gonna be you're gonna be thrown off like you're gonna be in the wrong in the wrong place like so i feel like you just have to be aware you know me of- i i usually do tend to uh, be on the side of i i it just it's just because of how i base my life i'm very like you know I like to be accountable for myself. Is there any way I could have avoided this interaction? Um, but I don't necessarily like to apply it to everybody else. Um, and and because I am very much on the side of, and obviously I only have literally a handful of followers that even inter- interact with my um, post in the first place. So it, maybe it's just a level of a, 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 something I can't understand. But I feel like whether I had two or two million, I want to be able to post what I want. That's I, you. You can't take that feeling away from me. Well, okay, you can as long as you know what to expect. Yes, and I agree with that. I, that's another thing I, yeah. I commonly say. You got to be willing to deal with the consequences of what you say. Um, but you know, I also I <laughs> I, I said about four butts at this point. But I'm also while I understand that. The, the, the loss of humanity on social media, I don't think we should accept it. I think we should almost push a, a, towards a culture of some humanity. How do you do that? Yeah, you go ahead and then tweet that out. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> you're gonna get the, it, It's the, you're not gonna change people. I, I just, <laughs> I know. And I, change I, that's what I'm saying. You all you want. Exactly. Uh, start, you gotta start, work with start, the system. Start, if, start making some rules. That, that's all I can say right people now. People are gonna be people. Nah, nah. They're gonna be evil. That's just how it is. <laughs> yes, I know. If you, the world is. But I don't. I don't think. I, we we can't just like. Uh, people are gonna be evil. That's 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 fine. We can't. We, we, hold on. Hold on. There are pockets of, and not not even pockets like. There's youth in the, in Twitter. Like there's there's pockets and communities that you know spread good information, have good interaction. Like you have to build that or be part of that if you want. I mean, you don't have to, but like that's a way to get something out of the medium. And it's not that those exist uh, with particular rules or um, are. Sp- separate from the general uh population of twitter it's just that those uh they they have a way to navigate they have a way of navigating those people all navigate together in that way so i think i think that's what you do it might not you can't really necessarily just make rules blanket rules for everybody but there will be norms that are followed by certain pocket within the medium and you just have to you either have to find them or not care <laughs> at all about any any of them and that's where i land on you know i'm i'm, I'm a big you not care slash i will go we'll go back and forth but no you're, you're absolutely positively right you're definitely the voice of the reason for this topic um but at the end of the day we are i think we're all on the same page of like you know uh, not salute, not condolences. What do you say to somebody when they're not feeling good mentally? Um, I don't know. What do you say? Get well. <laughs> um, be warm. No, I'm just Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, definitely salute to her. Um, uh, not necessarily about. What's your go-to for condolences again? Oh, just uh, put a twist on that. <laughs> feeling bad now will make you feel. When you feel better later, 
that much better. That's not the equivalent. You're putting out a very false <laughs> na- na- narrative about me, but that's mm, um, that sounds along the I'll, lines. I'll, of... I'll take it on the ch- I'll take it on the chin for the time being. Um, Nothing like depression to make happiness feel better. <laughs> there we go. By the way, I, I can I can as someone I might be able to speak on that one. Anyway, it's fine. Um. Yeah, so so there. Um, uh, if it makes people feel better, this was like a couple weeks ago, and I think if you check their page now, they might be in a better better space. So that that's some good news. Um, and I dropped a a a, a, um, a video by a legend that I, I I this is one of the things that while we're having a conversation, I I think I would send to them. I don't know if it's the best thing to send, but I think it's, it's, it's helpful. Pull it up, Ace. Learn about black people. Because I got at least minimum 200,000 some people black, minimum. That's at least, maybe more than that. Don't ever feel bad about blocking somebody. Page is yes shit. Sometimes people are too opinionated on yes shit. You get what I'm saying? Say your social media, whatever platform it is, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, somebody come in your house and be like, I don't like your curtains. Okay, okay, cool. I don't like the curtains. I'll let you live next time. I don't like your opinion. I don't really like the furniture. Well, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. You don't like the curtains? You're like, why are you here? You don't like a bunch of shit. But you still are here. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, sir. Wise words from the legend cam. Um, and again, <laughs> uh, it's it kind of is along the lines of being warned and being filled. But I think it still holds some value, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So, 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 so let's get on. Um, <clears throat> you know, that being said, uh, you know, while some of that stuff was maybe not the most pleasant, I, I'm noticing a pattern of it helps to talk through things, and even if we disagree, I, I think there's really something about getting yourself on your chest, and that's what, that's what this podcast kind of helps to do, at least for me, but at the same time, I do also like to just talk to some some shit we must do with my guys. Um, and that's what, uh, okay, before we get to the really silly stuff, um, just this quick update. Don't even have to spend more than a minute on this. So, it was confirmed. Uh, again, I, I, and I y'all, y'all can stop me. Maybe we, we don't need to do these quick updates, but my mind is weird. Um, LeVar <laughs> Burton. <laughs> will indeed be uh, the next host, or he'll be one of the hosts on Jeopardy. Um, and he's he's pumped about it. Uh, everyone, uh, from, the, from what I've seen, a lot of people are pumped about it. So I will give, I feel like it was Ace and Ghost on that side of the fence. If people are pumped about it and he's pumped about it, he is the, he is the OG legend, uh, I'll give you that. Salute to him, salute to Jeopardy. Uh, maybe it's entertaining. Maybe that'll be another quick update. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll like send a clip and then we can look at it and see if it's as good as the original, which it won't be spoiler. Yeah. Go for LeVar Burton. I'm with it. Well said. Um, and that's all I got about that. Now. <laughs> some goof, some goofy. Uh, pull up that, um, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Ah, man, man, man. So let me just read this scenario to you. So, or let me paint the picture. So, imagine, you know, you have a wifey, you have, you have a girl, you have a wife, and you take her to lunch. You know, just a nice lunch. And then she says, my homegirl, my homegirl's gonna join us. You like, bet. 
be it'll be, it'll be a, 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 a be what do they say? Uh, three's company or whatever. So y'all, so y'all, so so y'all do that. So y'all do that. Y'all go out. I don't know what's y'all favorite restaurants. That's another topic for another day. Uh, I, I would take them to Crowns. So you, you, we're at Crowns, and we all get our meals. And then the bill comes, and you decide I'm gonna pay for me and mine's, and homegirl gonna pay for hers. You don't think too much about it. You just you say that. You go home. You go on with your life. And then you pop on the social media, and you see this commentary from your wife, wifey, girl, so on and so forth, homegirl. That reads: Went to a basic ass restaurant yesterday with a girlfriend. Invited her dusty ass nigga to join us. I had two. $5 Moscow meals, I'm assuming that's some type of drink, crab, and artichoke dip. The total was $24.58. Man, she kept that receipt. This N word. Tell me why this N word. This N word. Tell the waitress two texts, please. Can you believe the, the, the nerve of this? There's more. I told her he dusty and broke. Dusty ass. Anyone knows me knows I'm honest. You gotta, you gotta put it in, I'm honest. I don't entertain dusty men and wish you wouldn't. So you see this and you like, dang, I'm dusty because I didn't pay for her joint? And um, admittedly, I don't know if we'll have too much to, to speak on this because you guys are like me and uh, we'll speak on what I'm referring to open and soon. But um, <laughs> I guess the question that comes from this is, uh, does she even have a semblance of a point? Or do we need to finally just talk about the rules and regulations when it comes to uh, paying the bill at a restaurant? What, what, do you, what, what, what's, what do y'all think? Come on, give me, give me, the, give me a lot of takes. We could talk that, but because um, I don't think we have. Uh, it would be an interesting conversation. But it's all about expectation. It's, uh, it comes back to that. And what's justified and what's not. Uh, I think that's, uh, I, that's what it is. Well, her expectation is that the, the man will pay. <laughs> Clearly. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll say, I'll say, I'll just get right down to it. Um, I would probably tend to pay and not think twice about it. Okay. So however. And there, it, before, yeah. before you get to that, however, is that, that's a grief for all of us. We're all, right. we're all the type that. Oh, um, I know. Uh, um, uh, I don't know about ghosts. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm, I'm, asking, I'm asking all of us. Come on, just keep, 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 keep it a buck. It's not. It's not a wrong or right. Oh, for I, me. Yeah. Oh, you, you you can go. Ace. No, I was just gonna say I, I I definitely pay. I pay. Yeah. I'm in general. I'm fairly just. I'm a pay every time. With yeah, some exceptions, no. <laughs> yeah, without without hesitation. But no, no, I, all right. I'll just say real quick: if I knew going into it that someone expected me to pay and they're gonna be bitter if I don't, and they like if I knew they were going to do something like this, I'd be hella petty. And if I, I'm not paying nothing, I'm not even going out. But <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I go out for the I, sole purpose of not paying. That's how petty I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> no, if if we know that this is the type of time that homework gonna be on, I you, that can be a friend, but they ain't gonna come. They ain't gonna be around <laughs> us. That that's not happening. But um, yeah. yeah, sorry to cut you off. Really right, like that, I, I feel like you were you were kind of getting into the the shit to the matter. No, yeah, that's what I, that's what I was gonna say too. Like, um, she's trash for 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 going in like that. <laughs> like, that's completely unnecessary. And it's about like, she's not it's just, one thing she's to not just being honest. <laughs> Nah, it's one thing to like she called him dusty. Like what? Like it's one thing. It's one thing to expect. It, it. Don't, it, it kind of stinged on it. Just hearing it. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing to expect it, and it's another thing to come after the fact and be bitter about it. Like if you think that is something that is just oh naturally he's gonna pay for it, you might be a little taken aback when he doesn't. But to be so vocal as if you're right, like it's. 
it's a gesture of courtesy that you're expecting. So like, a, it's almost, I mean, I don't know if it's above and beyond, but it's just like, yeah, some people are that way, but some people, I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's, yeah, By it's just way, a matter of managing your expectation. Like we all said we do it, but I'm not mad at the guy that says, no, I'm just going to pay for me and mine. And that's yeah, they have do it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to think, I guess, in the opposite situation. Would that be weird? I don't know. But if, okay, I'm, I'm out with, you know, uh, my homeboy and his girl. And oh, if he said, I didn't think about this. Okay. If he said, wait, wait. Jesus. Yeah, but, but, you, said, but you wouldn't expect her to pay. You're thinking about, her, you're thinking about him paying. Yeah, because he, yeah, because he would always. But if he said two checks, like. All right, I'm paying what? for my joint. Like, even, what's the problem? It's not even a question. It's yeah, not it's even just, a question. Exactly. Just, yeah. <laughs> I told you some yeah, silly. Like, I mean, it's not that not that she's ever gonna pay, but like, still, like, the dynamic is if they want two checks, I get it. I'm not part. I'm not, I'm not part of this this group here. Like, I'm just I'm just tagging along. Like, <laughs> yes, you're definitely not broke and dusty because of because you don't. That, it, doesn't, right. it don't make any sense. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, if you go in somewhere, you need to be ready to pay. That's exactly. what it boils down to. A, a lot of people say Regardless that. of if you were invited, if you invited yourself. Even if it's a date. I feel like the woman should still be ready. A lot of people said that in the comments. But Sorry, go ahead. I will say on a date, I could see... Like, if it's just a one, -on one you know, two people, and the guy is not ready to pay the two-check joint... So you can't, I, I could see, I you, could see calling him Dusty. Oh, like, you can't, I'm, oh, you I'm can't, okay with. You can't do two checks on the first. Hell no. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly yeah. fine with somebody roasting a dude for not paying first, first date or, or any date. Um, well, I mean, at some point she gotta be. be right. she, I don't know she, about gotta. I mean, she might be broken, Dusty. We never, we never talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, like, she's I that like, in her feeling. She's a hundred percent broken. Dusty, like it's not even a question. <laughs> nah, but I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, being like, facetious, but you know, you would, I can, I can understand almost never having her yeah, pay I'm, or expe I'm, expecting her to pay. So I'm, saying, like, I'm same way. I, I think, but um, I think in real, I think in real life and IRL sometimes the way your wife will pay. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not, that's a kind of situation that's like, you know, a couple situation, of course. Uh, yeah. Like, but yeah. Um, I don't have the clip, but I don't know if y'all remember. See, this is, this, we always all agree on this. Now, there was a, a extreme example, not too long ago, floating on the timeline, of an event where they invited 25 people. Yeah. And it's it, too much. <laughs> well, what's the what's the threshold? I mean, it's for every individual. <laughs> because when, because when we go out, uh, just speaking of us, that's us four. One person will take care of it, nothing. And I think that'd be the same if you had on maybe one or two more of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's to to, to me to, to be, be honest, honest like, like this is something I, I think. think is always yeah it always has to be considered on a case-by-case -case basis mm -hmm. and like it's something i always consider when i go out with friends i almost want to discuss it beforehand because it's mad awkward when it comes to the check and you don't know necessarily who's paying for it or whatever so no, you're right you're right I, I think it's um i mean i think it's just something that should be discussed beforehand and that and going back to that's the other question the rules and regulations like, like obviously we're not gonna be the one to change the world but I, i'm not mad at that also want to say she's trash for putting the bill for putting her and this girl is gonna hold yeah, yeah, because time. yeah we, we know because that. yeah <laughs> because like the, the dollar amount really doesn't matter like so there's three people like we don't care how much you pay for it situation it, the, the money I'm yeah the fact there. that she the had fact it to that the she, yeah, exactly <laughs> like come on that solidifies the brokenness like <laughs> if you that hurt you gotta check your bank account after make sure you don't overdraft that's not a good what look. are the comments saying and i mean right? that might be the root of the problem there she deserves some roasting <laughs> okay i think i think some of it was along the lines of if you go out you should you should be prepared to pay 
and uh, maybe some people agree with that. I don't know. <laughs> um, All I read is I ain't got money for my own food. There we go. Yep, yep. <laughs> you got my giant paying for you. My my man ain't paying for nobody else. Yes. That's, oh, oh, that's yeah. Cool. oh yeah, I did see that sentiment as well. Which I hella <laughs> I hella respect. I hella respect. She deserves all the roasting. Yeah. But but let's not be, let's not put too much like I mean well, she deserves the slander, but that's not putting too much slander on her. This is not just her. I, I, there are a, a group of people out there that probably have to feel the same sentiment. She thought she was Get, gonna get sympathy though. Yeah, she was. I mean, maybe she did somewhere, but not, <laughs> not here. I don't. I think. I think based off even this, it's a small scale, but it might, it might be the, the minority that think this way. Um, I know what you mean, though. I I have heard of people like, you know, set, setting stuff up, even if it's not even um, even if it's not even uh. <laughs> These the friends we'd be talking about. <laughs> Man, that's another conversation, man. We got it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no. I have I have heard of people setting up situations just to get free meals. On, and it'll be like yeah. a girl and a dude who's not even, um, who she's not even with. You know, it's just like a, a date or whatever. And she'll bring somebody else just to get... No, all three of them get, or all you know, both of them get the free meal. I mean, so I still put that on. I still put that on the dude. You gotta, you gotta know what the situation is. Sometimes you just paying for it to buy a homegirl some lunch. Yeah, that, that's part of the game too. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, which which is true, and I mean, in those situations. Well, I don't know if it's discussed beforehand, but but uh, they do, ma- they do, they do get away with it. You don't know if it's what. Discussed beforehand. Oh, like if no, somebody. No, no, no. I don't think so. No, <laughs> I don't no. think it would be. No, what? Why would the dude go? True. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess he expects to pay for her, and I don't know if she tells him beforehand that she's bringing somebody else. I mean, oh, this be it'd be dang, weird. That's a that's an interesting <laughs> point. Would, would y'all feel funny about that? If, if you got the last minute word heads up that there's gonna be another party. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I'd like but not, this, what's happening but beforehand. No surprises. But not because you, this is not because you have to pay more. More so because you are expecting one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, yeah. The, yeah is it, is it, if it's mindset. supposed to be a date, and then she says, "I'll bring it somebody else," then that's definitely yeah. That's, that's, that's a, a red, red flag, flag, in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but oh wait, I'm, 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 I might be going overboard. Y'all might talk about village. But the scenario that we're talking about, this is probably like, this is not your wife. This is probably just somebody you're getting to know. So, yeah. What if um, what if the other one girl is, you know, you know, y'all know where I'm going with this. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what, what is, Move on. <laughs> you, hey man. That's what another level is. <laughs> I'm just saying. What if you? That's you, dusty. That's yeah. dusty. Right there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm Mylon. Okay. That's all. It's just saying Mylon. Like, we don't gotta continue. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Salute to the brother. to the brother that was involved in the situation. I don't know. Um. And you're kind of right. Ace. I think it's another one of those things that won't happen, but maybe should happen. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to move towards a culture of like just just discussing beforehand who who got it. Um. You know. Thankfully, you know, we've all been we've all been for. Unfortunately, just we never had any issues when it comes to the pain. Um, but uh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask though. I, maybe you probably wouldn't have any impact on you, but do you think that sometimes that would potentially sour the sour the meal? Are you talking about who's paying beforehand? I don't know. I mean, I I, th- I feel like it. It's something that hangs over the meal if you don't discuss it. <laughs> I just think, I just think nobody's. People, and it people, depends on the crowd. People don't like to talk about money. Right? Yeah. Because we don't got to talk about it, but it depends if you with people you don't. Yeah, people that you don't. Frequently. Yeah, people you don't really like yeah. to. People you don't, you don't really know. I don't think it's. I think that you know, it kind of extends itself to a bigger problem. People don't really like to talk about like money in situations. Like. Exactly. Yeah. You know what? You know what is, is helpful though? Like, at Panera, if, if it's, it's expected, expected that you're going to just use the kiosks. 
then you automatically people are paying for themselves. So it's it's not you don't even really have to talk about it. Yeah, there's no kiosk and regular. Yeah, you go into a restaurant, <laughs> you sitting down, waiter, well, holding joint. They they're, they're starting to put some of them things in like uh, Uno's. Oh, the little the little yeah, table joint. Hey man, I'm I'm not mad at either. Or if if, if we pay separately, or whether we just all do it. I think there is some benefit into paying uh, all in one when it's like it's a just a traditional, you know, like so somebody comes with like a the check because if you that does you know, like now you're now you're waiting for the waiter to come back with another check and that can get a little, you know. Yeah, there's a convenience. But um, yeah. Again, salute to this brother. You're, I don't think you're broke and dusty. We don't think you're broke and dusty. <laughs> oh man. Um all right, what's next? I I feel like the next thing is similar, but it's not similar. What's the next joint? Oh man, and we're at two hours, so we won't spend too much time on this. It's not similar at all. <laughs> so I, the only reason, the only reason why I'm bring this up because I feel you see, see y'all already seen some of the comments. I feel like oh, let me put on my let me put on my like uh, appropriate voice. I feel like here at the Be Want to Be Feel podcast, we tackle <laughs> we tackle topics that are you know relatively introspective, relevant. You might say, you know, we're not we're not like the other podcast that just sit around and women 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 are hoes and guys are dogs you know we like to have a, a certain level of standard over our, our podcast <clears throat> now that being said sometimes we can put that aside and just you know be a little problematic i think i think i post something recently i'm not gonna never go into the boy all the details about the post but i feel like I, I i said like i i feel like i should i get to problematic at least once a week um <laughs> uh so yeah so obviously we don't have we don't and we don't we don't even always have a problematic on, a topic on our docket. So since we've been since we you know are usually on our uh, best behavior, let's throw that out for this little and talk about this topic that actually was buzzing a little on on social media the other day. So this person just posted a simple just a simple question. Just a simple question. They said, I admit it. I still believe in some gender roles. Which which one do y'all believe in? <laughs> and if you go to the responses, it's just a whole lot of it's. Uh, it's actually a kind of a running theme. I, I'm, well, I'm not. I'm not gonna hold you up. Just to read some of them. Uh, this sister, uh, our sister responded, not paying rent. <laughs> Keep going down a little. <laughs> Men should open doors. The walk on the side. Pump the gas. <laughs> Somebody posted a picture of a woman <laughs> proposing to a guy saying, can we, no. can we normalize this? And I'm sure his responses were like, hell no. Oh, man. If you go to the responses, I'll, I'll, I'll see the... the, the <laughs> that picture is hilarious. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it always gets me. <laughs> Somebody's response. Somebody said, uh, a "Woman, take care of the household, cleaning, cooking, kids, pampering the man, oh, pampering the man, but a man do the labor, taking the trash out, maintenance, house, cars, taking the larger bills, so on and forth." So there's, there's a running theme within here. And I just wanted, you know, let's just keep it a buck here. Let, you know, I do want to say this is a lot of female comments, but I guess it was a female that posed the question. A woman. What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, I think he's referencing the fact that we're being problematic. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to get too problematic. I just want to keep it baseline. So my question to y'all is, come on, let's be honest, because we all, cause clearly we all got some. What are some? I'm gonna, I'm gonna <clears throat> like, say something. And I don't even like the, okay. con- the concept of gender roles because you know these things are. I don't gotta get too philosophical with it. Let's just let's just keep it problematic. What do you say? What, what, what's come on? Be, be, no, I'm gonna I'm start. I'm gonna start soft softball here. Um, to all the men who don't have a toolbox, 
It's a shame. <clears throat> yes, it's, a, it's even, a pure and utter shame. Even when we're being problematic, we like to start with we like to look at ourselves in the mirror. Yes, yes, I like that. Every man should have a tool. Well, you're not even saying they should be able to use a tool. You're just saying they should have one. <laughs> at the bare minimum, like, come on. <laughs> Throw in a tire iron and jumper cables into that mix too. Man, not too long ago, there was definitely a video floating around of um, this sister. She had to change her tire and she was with the guy and he didn't know how to do yep. it. Man. Yep. Yep. Man, oh man. You got to walk home after that. You can't get back in that car. To give the brother some bail, he's like, what am I? I'm not AAA. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, I, I don't know if every guy should be able to do it. My son, if I have sons, will be able to change the tire. That's not even the bit. That's not even a question. Um, I'll, I'll take. I'll say some of mine. Oh, damn, I might have forgotten. Like that. Um, man, what was it? I had like two that came to the top of my mind. Ah, uh, I'm blanking. Um. You know what one of them is? And it's not necessarily a gender role thing, but it's something that I definitely subscribe to. I don't believe that women, I wanna say regardless if you're in a group or if you're alone, should be outside past 10 o'clock, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm just being- What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hey man, we live in we live in a, a real cold, wild world. And women, I, I don't I don't subscribe to being out alone. Wow, that's ten. Um, and you know I'm not saying I mean <clears throat> I'm not wait wait wait. wait. You, are you, you you're referring to the safety aspect of it? Absol yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but what do you mean? You you, you mean yeah. a, alone by themselves or alone? I, I think without uh, a group of I think other uh, women. Or yeah, yeah. I'm alone? talking about all women. I'm talking about all women. If you if you put a man in the equation, then then I'm not, I don't want to feel so heavy on it. But uh, you, the more women you add, maybe you can add plus or, plus or minus a half an hour. But as, as, <laughs> right. Jesus. At, at, oh my God. At a certain point in time, every they gotta be, you gotta be in the house. It's the it, man. It's just, it's just me. It's a cold world. I'm just thinking. I I've, I've heard one too many stories. You gotta be in the house. And obviously, this changes from city to city. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But as as it got ten, ten is modest, I believe. By the way, because there's no way that it'll be like nine o'clock and be it'll still be light out. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but come on, don't just leave me and Wes out to drive. Well, come on, y'all. I know y'all got some. Well, mine are mine are easy. Like I, I 100% believe in all the man breadwinner. Um, what you say? Say all. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> I, the the ones that we read so far, I think like they all make sense. Um, like even I will just. Wait, what the hell? Killing bugs. <laughs> <laughs> driving. <laughs> hey, I'll take driving. driving. Pumping gas. Any outside work, they have the trash. I mean, yeah. Oh, Nobody's man. saying anything really crazy. No, I think this is, I mean, the comp section, they're having a ball in there, but I think it's kind of... No, nah, it's not a whole what about walk out, outside, outside? Yeah, what about those etiquette things? There's a conversation there too. I'm like, good. I'll open the doors. What's the problem? I know, but do you know them all? Well, maybe not. <laughs> I feel like people people be getting ashamed sometimes when they they don't necessarily know all those weird not weird but older style etiquette thing. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Yeah, but I mean the the, the interesting thing. My the interesting thing, <laughs> yeah. The interesting thing for me here is, at the same time, I don't know, expecting some of these things, like the the opening the door and the the walking on the outside of the sidewalk. Like if it doesn't happen, I it's definitely, a I definitely, yeah. I definitely believe in the sidewalk thing. That sidewalk thing is, hey man. You're walking down the street and your 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 wife is on the grass. 
around the road, you are getting clowned. I guess. You know what I never got? I don't know. It, you know what I never got? To me, it, I was just going to say, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of similar to what we were just talking about with the the paying for people and that it's an expectation. Somebody would probably say that's a gender role thing. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. And then it's an expectation and the person having the expectation kind of I don't know and and being soured when something doesn't happen kind of says something about the person that might not be. Yeah, I mean, that's No, I'll say that's why it's I'll say that for the it's, that's for the for the etiquette stuff. I, I that's what I'm saying. If if you know if somebody expects something and I, I don't quite you know I mean I think it's I don't know maybe there's something I think it's applicable to all of them. I think no, like maybe sit facing the door. Like I get that, but at the same time, uh, you know, you might slip on somebody sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And and I don't think you should be held like strictly to it, like a, a, a little reminder or whatever. Not a problem, but um, but like taking out the garbage and fixing stuff around the house i mean i mean i guess you could miss something there too once in a while but... i didn't expect this to get into it i thought it would be more so we just kind of give our, our our hot takes but no you guys kind of you guys kind of got my brain going should it is it a should it i guess not should it but do y'all have a problem with it being an expectation or can it be I mean it's case by case, but can it be should it be something that's talked about? I think I mean you gotta discuss it to some extent at exactly. least. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they are still expectations, like even if, you know, there's no true question about whether I'm gonna, you know, be able to be the one to fix stuff around the house. Like But y'all have some I, expectations for women? In terms yes. of them Cooking, cleaning, type of thing. Well, I, whatever one you you so ha, you so feel compelled to have, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> no, I but mean, no. I for me, the two things are cooking and cleaning. Not that you are expected to do all the time, you but you mean, have you some gotta, knowledge you gotta put that of. You gotta put that disclaimer. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, not knowing how to boil water, but well, okay, otherwise, well, okay. Let's do this though. Are there absolutes on the man's side? Like, okay, uh, fixing stuff around the house or maintenance on the car. Like, you don't expect the woman to ever really. I'm not sure if you finished your thought, Wes, but yeah, I, I think the question still is in the air. Um, yeah, I think we put some things on ourselves, some things that are like you wouldn't have to even. It wouldn't be a. It wouldn't have to be a conversation, right? But we could never really say, "I'm never gonna lift a finger to clean," or "I'm never gonna cook," and have it feel okay, right? No, like what? the things I expect. Is there? Maybe is there exclusively anything, yeah. expect to do? Is there anything are heavy lifting? But is there oh, anything thing. exclusively for her? You you reminded you reminded me no. of this. You reminded for me. me no. Oh, just flat out no. I'm comfortable doing anything. As long, I think there needs to be, uh, maybe it's not a 50 50, it's in terms of 20 80. Like, I know how to cook. Uh, so, so you're comfortable with anything. I don't you're like com- doing this. I just get to you're, work. You're comfortable with doing anything some of the time where you wouldn't ever put them in a position where they have to fix the car. I mean, even that, like. I don't think it should be something that I'm this that they have no knowledge of just because if they're on the side of the road, like I'm not, it's not an expectation. But by the way, by the, the way, only things I would say exclusive for me are uh, they're on the side of the road. They call it play. Yeah, yeah, but if they're with if you, it's a flat tire. You're not. Yeah, yeah if they're with you, you're not right. gonna have them. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, right, yeah, right. If with, yeah. I'm doing it, but only things that are exclusive for me are heavy lifting. Maybe not all yard work, a good chunk of it. I don't get the yard work one. Trash. I feel like I'd be driving around and I'd be seeing a woman raking, doing the garden. Maybe not the lawn, mowing the lawn, but I see women. Like, 
a lawn trim in the hedges like that's I, I feel that. like it's only the lawnmower that I, I don't typically see women doing but one yeah you brought it you i don't know if you brought this point uh ghost but i would also I like to just don't win i would definitely if you have if you, have, if you ever have any daughters or if anybody has any daughters definitely teach them how to change a tire because like we saw in that video <laughs> there might be yeah they should know how to they, do they everything might. like in an ideal world be it well that's what we're saying like uh, not not to it's not in front of your business but i think it's safe to say you would probably not teach your daughter how to fix a toilet <laughs> or <laughs> why not oh well, hey hey we got, some, we, got some, we got some progressive people here i'm not i'm i don't think i, I, I'm I, don't, think I, I don't i don't think it's a good idea to if I had a daughter to not teach her how to do certain things in expectation of a man being able to do it that's that's not the right way to go about it because first of all i'm there's a good chance at some time in her, her life she's going to be living by herself and teaching reliance on other people is not the way to go about it like do i expect like i don't know how to change a toilet i don't know man do yeah that's what i'm saying well, I'm, if I'm, the toilet breaks like you don't necessarily I'm, gotta i know it was just a general yeah, example it's something that no it wasn't general <laughs> it was specific to but it, like our experience like if you have if you have a daughter yeah if you, I don't, you don't necessarily need to have her in there while you fixing the toilet like exactly i don't but you, if you had a son, yeah, for sure. You but you could. You, I mean, could. you could. And there's... No, not there's, none, not none of this could. There's, would there's you, sensible reasons why you could. Not none of this yeah, could. But I'm I would. About, oh, okay, that's... I would. All right, so, so let's be clear. A daughter, yeah. Let's be clear, that's what I'm saying. I almost did it with one of my sisters I, last week. I, I don't think I would. I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I would. Well... No, I mean, it's just like a toss-up for me. But why not? not? Because, because I, contrary I, I, to what Ghost said, <laughs> I my daughter will never have to change the toilet. You can't. Well, okay, she because you're, by so you're gonna do it, or her husband's gonna do it, basically. Yes, I'll teach the husband if he don't know how to do it. If she's living by herself, then Quest will do it. But then it's question. If you die, you're dead. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I was that's, that's, I was literally gonna say if she lives far, and you gotta say I'm dead. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say I had to jump yeah. across the country. Yes, okay, you, you had the better alternative. I mean, there's also the option of hiring one to do some of the. Yes. Uh, maybe that's not ideal, are extremely but... expensive. Uh, I'll pay for it. That's fine. What do you mean? Eh. I'll get your. That's what I'm okay. saying. Like, he said he'd pay for it. I mean, it's not impossible. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, like, I'm just speaking for myself, me and mine. <laughs> Alright, kill him back off. Kill him off. <laughs> 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 yes, as long as I'm alive, they won't have to do it. If I'm dead, <laughs> Um, But yeah, I mean, to the point, like, there's things that I think are in the man's wheelhouse where if there is a man who is capable of doing the thing, I don't really think it's necessarily necessary to put it on the woman. Also... If worse comes to worse, it could be a hire somebody situation. Yeah. But I, and I don't. I'm yeah. not saying that to say that you know it's not good to have skills, but at the same time, it's just like not something I'd expect. Yeah. It, yeah. Let, let Let me be clear. If they want a YouTube how to, uh, I keep going about the yeah, toilet. Right. I'm, my bad, my bad, Ace. I don't know if this is. <laughs> I shouldn't bring this up. If they want to learn how to do it, have a blast. If they want to learn how to change the trans uh, transmission in a car, have a blast. I'm just saying. As long as I'm here, they want to have to. Now, if there's an interest, for sure, like don't. There's nothing wrong with. It. Now I want. I, sure. Now I was gonna say I'm with you, Ghost. I have things. Even that bill one. I'm surprised nobody mentioned that bill one, but that's fine. I'll mention it. Uh, I have, that's an interesting one. I have. I have things that. Man, I kind of go back to the game conversation that you brought up that I said we weren't gonna talk about. But it's fair. It's fine. Um, I have some things that I, like I said, as long as I'm around, they won't have to worry about, but I'm also, um, I was going to say, but I'm also like you, like I'll cook some time, I'll clean some time, take care of the kids sometimes. Like I'm not, doesn't want to I'm not, it's not, I didn't think at first it was anything 100% of the time that I would put on them. And this, and, and the, this example that I thought of isn't 100% of the time, but it's 
like 98. So again, it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one gender role, but if I had a daughter, I think I might have this before, if I had a daughter and they had any questions about changes in their body or puberty or general questions for women, I'm definitely probably going to send you to mom's. I'm going to talk to your mom's about yeah, that. That's, yeah, that's yeah, fair. I don't think that's controversial. So, uh, I think a lot of people would be, uh, well, some people would say as a dad, you should be able to talk to your daughter about anything. And it's not to say that I wouldn't if I had to, but it's just moms are just better equipped to deal with that. Yeah, if there's an alternative, it doesn't make sense because first-hand experience is yeah, always yeah, The woman better. just knows, like, as, as a fact, fact she, she knows, knows better. better than I'm, that's, the I'm, man. I'm with y'all. Uh, but I've also dead-ass seen somebody say, like, something to the fact of, like, it's a damn shame guys don't know more about women's products or just, uh, just along that line of that type of rhetoric. Um, so I, I think the, I think it, bl I think it blends in with what I'm saying. Yeah, but I think at bottom, I think there's less things that are expected to be like a hundred percent of the time. Women. women. Yeah. I never realized that though. I never realized. That's what you. I mean, the things that kind of are maybe not. And like if you're being progressive or no, let's let's PC or whatever, let, but let cooking and cleaning are two things, yeah. and taking care of the kids are two some things that not are hard, extremely. It, it, it don't take a rocket science. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh my! Come on! I'm trying to be. I'm like I said. Let me be problematic, bro. <laughs> I'm trying. Um. Yeah. Right, well, <laughs> you can have fun with that, but I strongly disagree. Cooking and cleaning is hard. Fam, I just cooking. You I doing was, a long ass? I was on doing you, a long ass. I was on YouTube for, for a, I was on YouTube for like five minutes and I cooked out a whole. Good for you. Every day after coming after work, okay. and for a family, not just for yourself. Okay. Yeah, it's now, no. You're not gonna tell me that's not now. Now you're bringing. Uh, uh, right. But I'm just saying it. Maybe I'll, the I'll, act is. You're yes, saying the act itself, yes, not, not the, the repetitive. Yes, the singular act. Right, like so. You're okay, saying, sure, like, oh, but you're you know, gonna well, tell me that mowing a lawn is. No, I'm gonna say. Wait, wait, I'm gonna wait, say, wait. No, no, I'm gonna say changing a transmit a car transmission. How often do you have to do that? Once every ten years, five. No, 10 that's years? not. That's not the point, though. Like, because if you think of it on an even smaller scale, carrying something really heavy one time is still yeah. difficult. <laughs> like, as opposed to, you know, cleaning something one That's time. That's just I mean, a matter of physical quality, not... Exactly. The difficulty. He's, his point is, yeah, he's, his point is that it, the, uh, one time, it's still, kind of a... it's still more exertion. But, okay, I'm, I mean... I, I'm going to clean it up at the end. I don't <laughs> I'm going to clean it up at the end. I'm going to... What's the rel What's the ratio here? Because, I mean, it's about the... Comparing difficulty for her might be an eight, it might be a five or six for you, versus cooking and cleaning. It's a equal difficulty for both parties. I think the point is that there's an exertion or even like a technical capability that is not so much required. It's in the toilet. Yeah, there's a technical capability and knowledge. That both, it's a fair statement. That both men, <laughs> that both men and women are capable. It's wild, but oh, that well, both that. men, and, right, right, exactly. and women are very capable of doing. But the expectations that are on the men's side typically requires a, a bit, is a bit more. It's not just putting some 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 ingredients in a bowl and making some. Although that's kind of what fixing something. Is. And if you're just looking at it from a raw task perspective, I can see what you're saying, but I think repetition and how many times you're doing it has a big part to play in it. yeah for sure you're absolutely right that's not even yeah plus that's one right. of the things i mentioned the big thing is taking care of the kids and that's the 10 on the difficulty and a lot of the times expectation mm -hmm. is uh 
You're really gonna? No, come on, no. A, a lot of the time, I'm not saying that. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's, there's, an, too, there's an interpretation. We're not, we're not gonna exactly, exactly. We're not gonna spend because, too much time because, on it. Because, because, uh, okay. It is. It can be. It is high. I'll say. But physical exert. The, our criteria were physical exertion and technical difficulty. There's a lot of ways to to uh, take care of the kid. So technical difficulty. Are you stop? Wait, what? Are and you... physical exertion. What? It depends. I mean. No. Okay. I, like I Ment said, it's still mental it's still, duress and mental strain. High. Are you kidding me? Are you really trying to I tell me that? I said the criteria that we Come used. Come on. That's the some, okay, that that's use. some extremely specific you, you, criteria. You, you can add, come no, you on, can add, that's, you can come add, on. You can add the mental aspect of it, but that, come on, then that's just... now, now you add the variable of what age the child is and what is specifically required for it. All, all ages, all ages. If you're dealing with a baby that sleeps half of the day. What are you talking about, Quest? Do you... What for, are you for, talking for, about? Oh, for, oh, let's slow down because we, we're, try, we're trying to be fun. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to be, we're trying to have it fun, and you're not. And we're not going to flip this into act like you've taken more kids than I have, because that's not mm -hmm. true. So let's relax. You, you, you're the one that they're telling me that a baby sleeps half the day, so that'd be easier than an older child. What? Stop! Come on now. That's not what actually. He he made a really good point. Uh, yeah, go see. Uh, <laughs> you you kind of you kind of that's that's, kinda, what? that's not that's not what I'm trying to say. All I'm trying all I'm trying to say. You may lose this battle. <laughs> all I'm oh. oh my god. You can continue. All I'm trying to all say. Of, all Again, you, 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 we don't we don't we don't want to go there because the experience didn't. But all I'm saying is that um yeah, I, I, I mean, essentially, it's so I'm going to repeat in it. It's just, it's just a difference in what you could consider the level of difficulty. Now, with all that being said, <laughs> I am on record. I think that, and I'm just speaking for myself, obviously, none of us have been in a like raw situation where we're actually dealing with the dynamic, but I think women, especially in the black community, they go above and beyond uh, I could easily imagine, you know, I don't want to say life is harder, but the level... It feels of, like the bigger burden. Exa there you go. Perfect. Yeah, it exactly. does. Exactly. And like, even looking through these things and seeing what they consider, you know, cool on their end, like, I'm like, that's great if you really, <laughs> like, because it, it, it does seem like a lot when I look at it. Yeah. And I would always prefer the things that get categorized as men work to exactly. what to get categorized as a woman work because it seems like it seems better <laughs> even though even though i'm even though i'm i said what i said ghost i still uh i i can I, i'm a record i can you know go to work all day even if it's physical labor i can do that all day and i'll be cool but if i'm at home cooking and cleaning and taking care of a kid but it, you're gonna be like I'm, I'm gonna be dead at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be able. To, I'm not gonna be able to hop on here and talk to y'all. It's gonna be a whole. It's gonna be completely different. So exactly, it, it's 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 I, the difficulty is there. We're not we're not trying to diminish that. Um, but we were trying to be problematic. So I don't know how we got to that moral story, but it's fine. That's what happens on the Do On Be Show podcast. So to everybody out there that. It's just being real, and you know, because because we all know that there's that growing consensus of like, you know, complete equality, and yeah, this wouldn't have even survived if it was outside of Black Twitter. <laughs> yeah, man, we, we kind of stood some shock at Black Twitter, but at the end of the day, you know, you won't get it. you. Sometimes you need it for some the real dialogue. Um, you know what's unfortunate? <laughs> this, it's not we're not talking about tonight we're done with topics but there's another topic that kind of is involved with black twitter kind of it's like it's a growing thing that we might bump into or we are going to bump into one day about like the love quote unquote love and relationships of our grandparents how black people kind of glamorize that when 
some of those situations weren't necessarily the relationships that we would all truly aspire to. Um, but I'm just giving you a heads up for, for another for another day. It kind of sucks because I feel like I've been on, I've done my record. I, I was I was like my grandparents. Uh, long-lasting relationship literally uh, you know rest in power till to the day he passed <laughs> um, and opposed to you know the, the scene of what relationships look like out here today but that's fine um, yeah a lot of a lot of flips <laughs> when it comes to these topics but I'm glad I'm glad I'm, I'm uh, I like the direction we went for all intents and purposes. Um, and if y'all have anything else, let's get to music. The end of music. Dope. Oh, I had dope records. I was like a mixed bag with us. <sighs> and uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the podcast as well. Um, not a walk back. But um, one thing I, you know, came to my mind while we were talking, I think it might be worth. While I do have those, I don't know if it's a strong feeling, but while I do have those feelings towards the situation that happened with that young sister that got killed, I can definitely admit. I don't want to even bring up, but I guess I am bringing it up. Uh, I can definitely admit, similar to, you know, the Rihanna Taylor situation, I don't think the killing was inherently a racist act. I don't think it was fueled by racism. Um, I th- everything else, that we can that can be up for discussion. But just the... Acts, the incident, the particular situation in which, the unfortunate situation in which she died, I don't think that was fueled by racism. That's, mm-hmm. what, I, that's what I wanted to add. Just to, I don't know if that's a clarification, but that's that thing I just came across my mind. And, that was good. and, you know, regardless of what side of the fence you stand on, I think we can all say that you know we're all praying for hopefully a reprieve from the what seems like the new the endless new cycle of somebody dying let's let's get a couple a week or two of nobody dies uh in any form or fashion but yeah if it does you know uh, you know we'll come and discuss But uh, if there's nothing else to go over, what are we all looking forward to coming up? Real quick, before we go through that, I just want to do a quick shout out slash prayers up for uh, Chris Weidman. Because in the UFC fight that just went on during this pod... His leg snapped in half bottom half of it i don't know if y'all saw the anderson silva injury when that happened years ago but i, I remember it vividly i think i saw it live Sounds basically weird. the same type of deal so praise up for him that's all Man. no that was good that was uh, definitely send that send that uh, some spirit energy man those things are always so i don't want to say gross but that's the worst that's the, what comes to my mind just the human body just kind of bending in a way you really don't typically expect to see it. Um, yeah, that was, yeah, thank you for that. Um, so yeah, anything we're looking forward to? Remember, you always have to have something to look forward to in life. Or else, what's the point? When we get to Link, it's <laughs> soon. Yeah, otherwise we'll, we'll all be linked Later. Up. All right, give him, give him time. You want to get the location already? Uh, yeah, well, so that'll be cool. 
I got nothing. Dang, that means you got. That means you might go lay down and die. Um, this one. That Invincible show I was talking about last week. The timeline been. Yeah. The timeline been loving it's that. Getting. Yeah, been loving that joint. And I finally saw the trailer. Yeah, good. And admittedly. I mean, I think it was the extended trailer. If you watch the if you watch the trailer, you, you you do get the sense of what it not actually entails, but the point is the the thing that I was surprised by. So I don't know. Yeah, I saw the basic trailer, not the full one, and the basic one looked kind of big, not that great, but show itself. It's good, better than what I thought it'd be. Wait, last why episode are you next forward? week. Oh, oh, oh. The so last it's not episode fully released? Nah. Yeah, the oh. last episode comes out of the first season comes out next week, so. Got it. So as for me. Let me see if I can even find it. Oh, here. Oh, nice. Check it out. I actually. Hey. I actually factually. <laughs> to. I actually factually. Uh, this is still a audio podcast. I bought uh, Outliers. Uh, uh, sorry, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. This is literally might be the first book I bought for non-educational purposes. It might even be two decades, which speaks to my age but um yeah so i'm looking forward to reading this uh admittedly i don't have a time frame on it i'm i think i think i'm gonna say 2021 if that uh, there's any merit to that uh give yourself uh, a week dog uh, i'm not <laughs> the, the book made it to my to my doorstep that's uh, half the battle uh yeah i'm not getting just gonna open that up anytime soon but I do want to read it, and, it's, and I like this little. I like this little sub thing. It says the story to, of success. Um, yeah, I'm. You know, I'm always. Here, I'm always here to like improve and like better myself. I don't know if reading will actually accomplish that for me, but I, if I can like learn something and maybe apply it to my life, that would be sick. So, yeah, that's my mission. I'm gonna read that and. Maybe I'll even report back on how it, it how, how maybe it'll spark me to read other things. I doubt it, spoiler alert. Um but yeah. Don't pull LeBron. Oh the, oh yeah. Dang, that was good. That was a great comment. Damn, don't 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 y'all dare ask me what the what's about. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was messed up. <laughs> that was really funny. Um but yeah. Um, that being said, I think that's it. Um, as always, you know, thank y'all for hopping on this, this uh, podcast and doing this podcast thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, like like we said, uh, hopefully we'll be able to link in the future more. And also, this one just worth just adding. Hopefully, uh, to the other podcast. Oh, and one other thing I'm looking forward to, I don't know how this, I'm actually going to accomplish this, but I need to get on a, a better routine. Like I mentioned all that stuff about like I'm waking up earlier and I'm eating breakfast and I, you know, I've been working out and, you know, work is going smoothly, but I'm sacrificing my evening slash mid slash afternoons. Like there's been three days out of this, out of this past week, where I meant to like hit up goals so we can like go over some stuff, but I just crashed. <laughs> Man, I yeah, don't... y'all, the old man in you, y'all old. Honestly, I've been. I don't know. I've been feeling all the whack too. I don't know if it's an old thing. I think I'm just at a whack. I, I think I, yeah. I flip, yeah. I flip myself. I like, I have energy in the morning, and I be working and like cooking and cleaning. Like I be functioning like at a high level, and then once I get to like five o'clock. It's... That's how it be when you're old. All right. You ain't got that energy. Again. No, nah, the, the afternoon crashes. Is, is... I think the energy is oh, just in a place. 
But I'm not. I'm not but you old too. You try to speak I'm, from your boy. Oh, the moon crash. I'm not gonna argue. You. Normal human occurrence. If it's old thing, that's. That wasn't happening when y'all were younger. All right, I'm not. This, All right. <laughs> that's what. I, by the way, that, <laughs> you sound like a young boy. <laughs> but, yeah, but anyway. I know. But anyway, y'all sound like old men. Yeah. Give it a few years. I know I'm gonna be with y'all in a few. I gotta enjoy being young while I can. I'm saying I might not be like this if once uh, all I need once I figure out the, the, the secret shred. Yeah. But anyway, it's something I gotta work on. And I hope we all have things that I'm joking about the slain out and die. But yeah, I mean, in all honesty, it's always good to have something that you're working on, completing or uh, improving on. At least that's what I think you should say. Anyway, let me not let me not just ramble. Um, uh, oh yeah, somebody take it away for us. Come on. With that being said, Wes, be warmed and be filled. Yeah, you can't call it out, ghost. <laughs> Don't put the pressure on the heart. I'd call it out because I'm ducking. Ooh.